Welcome to Power to the Flower. I'm Kara. Thanks for joining me today on my Zone 9 gardening channel. I started this channel some time ago because I wanted more information about how plants do in Zone 9. And so that's what I'm all about here in my garden. I'm not necessarily an expert in anything, but I just share with you as I learn about things. And today we are also doing some DIY in the backyard. So we have a bed that we have walled in and then it has sort of an upper and lower tier. And let me show you a little bit about that. So today's project is to try and incorporate the upper patio area with this lower walled bed that we've just created. It has a lemon tree in the upper bed that we want to kind of incorporate into the lower bed and we want to save the lemon tree. The lemon tree is off center so we're trying to figure that out as well to make it look good and not weird. So my goals today in this project are to bring the upper patio area and incorporate it with this lower rocked wall bed that we've created. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use stones, the same stones that we used around our redwood tree. You can check out that video. Um, I'll link it below or you can go to my YouTube channel. So we're going to use those same stones to kind of give the same general feeling and we're going to wall in a circular bed that gradually goes over from the upper patio area into the lower bed. So this is the way everything looked the morning we started the project. And when I say we, I mean my husband. He moved all of those rocks around. This was post-surgery and I didn't do any heavy lifting. After a number of different designs with the rocks, we found that a circular shape looked best when it was centered on the lower bed. This put the lemon tree nicely to one side, which left room for us to put two more big structure plants in the bed. And I think that will kind of balance things out. At least that's my hope. You can also see that on the left hand side of the bed we incorporated the patio underneath the rocks and we did that on purpose to, in order to center everything and I thought I'll just plant some succulents on that side that don't need a lot of root space and it will look great. Once the stones were in place we broke up all of the soil added some firm mulch and some compost as well as some earthworm castings and made a nice yummy bed mixture. So this is the final look of the bed and pretty much exactly how I envisioned it. I think it turned out really nicely. And do you see how the lemon tree is nicely located on the far right side of the bed? I'm excited to challenge myself to plant some other structure in this bed that will allow the lemon tree to look balanced rather than really random like it does at the moment. And that brings us to the end of this project. Thank you for joining me on my Zone 9 gardening channel here at Power to the Flower. And you can catch me on Instagram or or on Facebook where I post daily updates on how things are going in the garden. Thanks again and see you in the next one. Bye. Join me next time for planting up this bed and adding irrigation. I can't wait.